welcome back to my channel it's me demi i forgot to do an intro but this is vlogmadon ramadan week two make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like this type of content make sure you turn on your post notifications so you never miss any time i'm posted okay enjoy the video day two of vlogmadon muscle my cuteness everything is from our shams abayas we cute we cute we cute hey y'all my day two was absolutely amazing i just finished my food we broke fast today at 7 24 today i got a slice of pizza which is all over my freaking mouth still <laughs> i got a slice of pizza with extra cheese and pepperoni beef pepperoni halal pepperoni because the chicken shop that i go to is completely halal for my last week's vlog y'all know i had a buffalo chicken cheese steak this time i was ready for an encore so i got that again today but anyways i just wanted to tell you guys about my fasting it was really good i had a really good day i actually got promoted today Ooh, at a race before i was the assistant store manager at my job but now your girl is the store manager at my job so i'm really excited about that and that came with the big raise so i'm really happy about that because y'all know i've been telling y'all i'm broke but humbly long god got me god got me and a customer came to the store today and got me a little giffy gift i mean it's something that we sell in the store but i thought that was like super nice of her to come back and give it to me i'm gonna do some reading today this is what i'm reading stories of the prophet so you know the korean has prophets in it as well and these are their stories <laughs> it sounds very long order ish but um sometimes i just find it easier to read books like this that put the stories together as opposed to reading the korean because sometimes i could get a little confused like i told y'all i don't really read like that but sometimes i be getting real confused so i like when i read this kind of book first and then i go back and read it in the actual korean and it's like oh yeah i remember that i know what's going on so i'm gonna be reading this tonight and i probably will do some cleaning and make myself whore for tomorrow because today i also had a big bowl of tuna but i took some chicken out and i need to cook it before i go back i got some steak i gotta cook before it goes back so that was today i hope you guys are having an amazing day too if you're fasting but i will see y'all later outfit of the day vlog madon day three talk to y'all real quick so i woke up this morning around 4 30 maybe i went to the bathroom i made myself a bowl of oatmeal i then drank some water did some reading and then it was it was almost time to pray so i'm like okay wait, let me go make wudu which is the cleanliness of yourself that you have to do before you pray so i'm like let me use the bathroom before i make wudu so i use the bathroom again and guess what i got my dang period if you don't know when you have your periods you can't pray and you can't fast you do have to make up your fast before the next ramadan comes around but y'all i'm mad i'm mad that i really woke up at four something this morning for nothing like i mean i know it's better than fasting the whole day and using the bathroom right before it's about to be time to break fast and then get in your period because then that fast doesn't count like you have to stop fasting and break your fast but still so ramadan is over <laughs> fasting is over just until my period ends anyways also i wanted to tell y'all if it is street cleaning on your street make sure you move your freaking car because where i live street cleaning is on mondays and tuesdays today is monday and guess what i did not move my car and i got a freaking ticket and the ticket was for 12 10 you're supposed to move your car by 12 o'clock so i might just have to go to court to see if the ticket gets thrown out because 45 dollars for parking in front of my own home when this street don't never get clean like this street is always freaking dirty this street been dirty for months for a year even like why are you giving me a ticket and you're not even cleaning the street that makes no sense to me <laughs> um anyways i'm about to go to ups i did buy some new curtains for my room if y'all see my last vlog y'all know i put up those pink sheets i'm returning those today and i'm just gonna go with white curtains i'll talk to y'all later bye vlog madame day four 
this is what we got on today i wanted to show y'all how i be cooking but i kind of just messed it up like i'm trying to make a sweet and sour chicken um i saw a recipe on instagram i know y'all be seeing those cooking videos on instagram just like i be seeing them but i'm trying to cook more because y'all know your girl don't cook anyway i was making the sauce and it said to add a teaspoon of diluted cornstarch with water and um i did that and everything but i just felt like my sauce was too i felt like my sauce was too watery that's where i'm looking for so i just added a regular teaspoon an extra teaspoon of cornstarch in here and now the cornstarch didn't break up like look Look, I see why they said diluted with water. So I'm trying to like scoop out the chunks. Cause that look nasty. Oh gosh. So this is just supposed to be uh, chicken and rice, but we took an unexpected turn and now we are making stir fry. I had some um, pepper, so I was almost about to go bad. So I'm like, uh-uh, we tend to have a little stir fry situation. On day five, super chill, super cozy. Hey y'all, so I'm just leaving Walmart and I just want to show y'all my cart full of stuff. Look, all of this, I got all of this. How am I supposed to get all of this upstairs to my apartment? This is too much. Y'all, I got home about 20 minutes ago. 20 or 25 minutes ago and i just been sitting in my car dreading going upstairs because i just came from walmart and when i go to walmart i'm gonna buy anything my heart desires okay but my heart does not desire carrying it all upstairs like i have to go up many flights of stairs with my freaking like this is so ghetto like i need to move somewhere that don't require me to walk up the stairs or that has an elevator because this is ridiculous this is honestly ridiculous so i made it upstairs and i'm not gonna show y'all everything i bought because i bought a lot of stuff but i'm gonna give y'all the highlights like i'm gonna give y'all my top favorite things that i bought on this walmart trip now this right here this is my favorite popcorn like i can eat this entire bag of popcorn in one shot like i could just be going and going and going and next thing i know it's gone like this right here if y'all haven't had this popcorn before it is so good it's sweet it's salty it's delicious you gotta try it it's at walmart it's about 288 maybe you might not be able to find it because it's always out of stock but i was able to get it this time so i got two of them like one thing about me i'm gonna buy more than one like if there's more than one on the rack i'm gonna buy like two three or four of them okay this time i only got two though i got some shredded coconut flakes i love all things coconut i don't know if i told you that yet i put this on top of oatmeal, I put this inside of a smoothie. I put this in my rice. It sounds shady, but it's really good. <laughs> I also watch Aisha's video. So Aisha, I don't know how to say her last name, but I think it's Haran, Aisha Haran. She's another Muslim girl and she's my favorite YouTuber right now. And she made mango gelato and she actually put coconut in it. So I was like, mm, I need to get all the ingredients just so I can try her recipe. I will make it on maybe not this week's video maybe next week's video but i will be following her recipe just to see how it's gonna come out because i love ice cream oh i gotta show you the ice cream i got too this is my favorite brand of ice cream i like this and i like briars if y'all know y'all know i love me some haagen dazs it's expensive but it's so freaking good this is pineapple coconut and it tastes really good it tastes like pina colada it is so freaking good oh my gosh and then this is cherry vanilla it sounds weird together cherry and vanilla but it's really good like oh my gosh it's so good y'all have to try these flavors and if you are a haagen dazs girl or a haagen dazs guy let me know what your favorite haagen dazs flavors are because i'm gonna try those too another one of the flavors that i like is their mango sherbet i love all things mango too like i'm a fruit kind of girl okay so the last thing i want to show y'all is my new plate bowls one thing about me I love bowls more than I love plates. Like I like bowls over plates and I like spoons over forks. So this one is considered a bowl, but it's also like wide enough that it can be a plate. 
And then this one is just a regular bowl, but it's still wide enough to be a bowl. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just like these better than traditional bowls because even though I like bowls, I like bowls that are like doubles as plate. Like I like it to be wide like this. So I don't know. These are at Walmart, they're 50 cents. So I got two of each of them and that's all I'm gonna show y'all. Oh wait, one more thing. This is eggplant parmesan. And this is so freaking good. I normally don't buy box dinners, things like that. <laughs> I normally don't buy box dinners and things like that, but this is really good. I love eggplant parmesan. You can just put it in the oven. The only thing I do to it is I put some oregano or some Italian seasoning on top and some Parmesan cheese just to give it a little more extra flavor. But this joint right here, this is the bomb. I gotta try this out if you like eggplants. Vlogmadon day six. This duster has been discontinued. So I'm sorry that you guys cannot buy it anymore. Vlogmadon day seven. Joe Babby, Maddie. Hey y'all. So I'm off of work and I decided to go for a little walkie walk in the park because it is absolutely gorgeous out here. And I don't know how many days we have left like this because spring keep playing games. Like spring keep playing games. He don't know if he want to be hot. He don't know if he want to be cold. So I had to come outside. So I have my tennis stuff with me. Tennis stuff. I'm going to attempt to play tennis by myself today because I don't have anyone else that likes to play tennis or do fun stuff with me. There's a big wall, so I think I could just like bounce the ball off the wall. So we gonna see how that goes. But I just wanted to tell y'all, if y'all wanna feel close to God, just take a walk. Take a walk in nature and see all the things that God has created and know that he is real. Look at the trees, look at the grass, look at the sky, look at all the living things around you and know that God, God is real. It's 5.40 in the morning. I'm back to fasting. I'm back to praying. I'm back to waking up at the crack of dawn for sahur. I actually just finished praying. That's why I have my little get up on. I'm super tired. Today for sahur, I had chicken and rice. The chicken I made earlier this week. I had a mango and I had an egg and I had some water. <laughs> I feel like I ate pretty heavy today, so I hopefully that doesn't disrupt me later on in the day. But I'm definitely a girl that likes to eat a healthy or hearty sahur. I can't eat like three dates and be done with my day. Like, no, that's not for me. I'm pretty darn tired, so I'm going to be going back to sleep. I'm not really a talker in the morning, like all hours of the morning. Like, I'm a morning person, but I'm just not like a big talker, so... I'll see y'all later when it's time to almost break fast. I do have to go to work at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to be getting up at 8 o'clock in the morning just so that I'm not rushing to work or anything like that. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. Ramadan day eight. Last outfit of this week's vlog. We're in all black today, honey. So I just got back from work and um, it's about an hour and a half before it's time to break fast. So I'm about to clean up my living room and clean up my kitchen and clean up my bedroom because everything is a mess. Everything is all over the place. By the time I finish, it should be time to break fast. I'm having a plant Parmesan to break fast tonight. I'm gonna make some red lobster biscuits. I got the little box from Walmart, but I'll talk to y'all a little later. So these are some clothes that I got from Shein. I will be doing a Eve inspiration video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And make sure you have your post notifications on so you know when it drops, honey. Oh, what? 
Micah Ma Red Lobster Biscuits. These biscuits looking better than the biscuits that be at Red Lobster. You can say, I know what I'm doing. Look at them, listening. Looking amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm throwing roses. <laughs> Fasting today was great. I was only hungry like one time and um, it was a little bit, a smidge challenging for me just because I was so tired. Like, I don't know if y'all seen how tired I was this morning, but I was so freaking tired. But anyway, fasting was good. I didn't get hungry that much. I didn't have any cravings. I just wanted to say that you guys know this week I wasn't fasting because earlier on in the video, I told you guys that women can't fast and women can't pray while they are menstruating on their period. But I don't want to say that women can't fast and women can't pray. I want to say that God dismisses them from doing that because it's just like, when I'm on my period, I am stressing. I am hungry all the time. My uterus feels like it's trying to knife itself out of my stomach, okay? It feels like it's trying to scrape its way through my skin and walk away, um, being my period is not fun. I'm craving things all the time. I'm super thirsty. I'm super hungry. I'm super emotional. So God, God is so merciful because it's just like, he understands that when we're on our periods, we're already going through so much. So to add fasting on top of that, subhanAllah, God is so merciful. Glory to God. Like God really loves us because he's just like, nah. I'm not finna stress my daughters out like this. I am not finna stress my daughters out like this. Y'all already got the bleeding for the seven days or 10 days. Y'all not gonna fast too because imagine how dehydrated we would be if we were fasting on our periods. Like imagine how miserable we would be. So alhamdulillah, I just wanted to give y'all a little piece of my interpretation of God's love for us because that is amazing. Like, ugh. That is such a blessing to not have to fast during your period because my period is stressful. But that's enough period talk. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Leave me an emoji down in the comments if you made it to the end of this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like this kind of content just so I know to keep making more weekly vlogs for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We are on the road to 1k. Oh my gosh. At this very moment, I think I'm like 43 subscribers away from 1k. So please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. But thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.